So I had tested this and IGN made an article on this, but it seems it was wrong because somebody brought to my attention that resting at your private dwelling, the house that you can buy, does in fact count as an inn save. I'm going to prove that to you. So right now I'm nowhere near an inn. I am outside of the city gates and I am going to go and save and return to the title screen so that I can load from an in-save and show you that I'm actually going to spawn inside of my private dwelling. Because it counts as a inn, it means that you should be sleeping in your actual bed because it's free right before you go on a big adventure so that if something goes wrong and it keeps reloading you from the autosave, you're not screwed potentially because your manual save and your autosave share the same save slot, if you will. You see that? Load from last in rest. Not load from last save. Load from last in rest. Load from your last save at a safe location, your house. Any progress made after that will be lost. Proceed, yes. And you'll see that I load up in my private dwelling. I've done this about 10, 10 or 12 times now to make sure that it wasn't a fluke because I must have rested at an inn before like after and just didn't realize it or something I don't know what happened to IGN but they lost hours of gameplay look private dwelling common quarter above the mini map when I look at my map you could see it right here I'm in my private dwelling I am not at the Shakir's inn in Vernworth so there you have it so that is why buying this house here from Meldrith whatever her name was uh, let's take a look at the map again here for some perspective, okay? Right over here. You'll eventually get the house because somebody's going to want to go on vacation for like a week and then you're going to get to stay there for a week for free. And you can use the bed, you can use the storage, just like at an actual inn. But that won't count as an inn save. You have to own the actual house. So when she comes back, she'll offer it to you. 20,000 gold. That is, I believe, the cheapest house in the entire game. Okay? This also means, and it needs to be mentioned, that if one of your pawns or your actual true companion is infected with Dragon Plague and you rest in your home, I'm assuming that you will trigger the cutscene where... Not so good things happen and your entire city is wiped out. So do take that in mind. If you're like, oh, I got an infected pawn, I'll just sleep at my house then because it's not an inn. I would not risk that. Now, that part, I don't know 100% sure, but it's not worth the risk. Take your pawn, dump them in the water, drown them, resurrect them at a rift stone. And if it's uh, one of the other pawns that you hire, like a prostitute... Uh, in that case, just dismiss them if you know that they're infected. Do not rest at an inn, nor your private dwelling as it counts as an inn. So there you have it. So to quickly recap, there's three saves. There's the inn slash home save. And then there's going here and saving and continuing, which is the same as save and return to the title screen. And your autosave, which always takes over your manual save, like within five seconds of you playing the game. Which is why you could be stuck in a sticky situation. You can't just reload from that save. Because your autosave takes it over. And if you autosaved while you had 1% health and you keep getting one hit and killed by something, that's where it's important to probably rest at your home because it's free. You don't have to keep paying 2,000 gold right before you go on a massive adventure. It's probably a really, really good idea to do that. That way, if things go wrong along your journey, it's almost like save scumming, but not really. Chances are you're only going to lose maybe, what, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes of gameplay. It's much better than losing several hours of gameplay, okay? So there you have it. As always, if you liked the video, thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel. Thumbs down if you didn't like it, and I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.